Hello, my name is Neil Ide with Skyway Software, and in this video, I'm going to show you some capabilities in Skyway Builder that makes it very easy for you to customize the generation of your Spring MVC or Spring Webflow application so that it's ready to be deployed to ap other application servers like JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere, or OC4J. It's worthwhile to point out that the Spring MVC applications that are generated with Skyway Builder make use of two Java technologies, two standard Java technologies. The first one is the Java Persistence API, which is referred to as JPA, uh, and the goal of the JPA is to simplify the persistence model. And the other one is the Java Transaction API, which is referred to as JTA, which is intended to simplify the transaction management uh, in uh, Java applications. As far as JPA is concerned, uh, Skyway Builder Community Edition will by default use Hibernate as the JPA provider. Standard Edition adds some additional capabilities. What Standard Edition allows you to do is it allows you to customize the generation of your application so that you can very easily leverage the JPA provider that's included with your container. For example, if you want to use the JPA provider in WebSphere, uh, we give you the capability to do that in Standard Edition very easily. There's no coding, there's no configuration required, it's basically just a drop down. And I'll show that to you in just a moment. We do the same thing for the uh, Java Transaction API. Uh, by default, we will use Atomicos as the default uh, JTA provider in Community Edition. But when you actually are doing code generation with Standard Edition, you have the additional capability of being able to leverage. Uh, leverage the JTA provider uh, of your container. Now, in order to leverage this capability, um, you have to have, at a minimum, you have to have Skyway Builder Standard Edition. But if you actually go to your modeling project and you expand it and you double click on the Spring DSL, this will bring you to the project editor. And from the project editor, there are a variety of tabs. And if you have, at the minimum, Standard Edition, uh, you will have this Enterprise Configuration tab. And what this tab allows you to do, among other things, is it allows you to pick the container that you want to deploy to. Now, by default, it's going to be set to other, which basically means that Hibernate will be used as the JPA provider and Atomicos will be used as the JTA provider. However, if I select on this dropdown, I will see that I can actually pick other application servers. So if I pick JBoss as my container, for example, I now have the additional option of Go, I can still use Hibernate and Atomicos if I prefer, but now I have the additional option of actually being able to configure this Spring MVC application that was generated with Skyway Builder to automatically use the JPA provider that's provided in JBoss or the Atomicos provide, um, or sorry, the uh, JTA provider that's provided by um, uh, JBoss. And that's pretty much all that you need to do in order to influence the code generation so that it will uh, generate the appropriate code for the respective container that you want to deploy to. It's important to note that Skyway really isn't going to do the deployment for you. For that, we're actually relying on the capabilities that already exist in Eclipse. So each of these application servers have a server adapter that you can actually use for deploying to those respective you know, application servers from within Eclipse. And Skyway's, really, Skyway's goal is not really to provide the deployment capability. Skyway will generate the applications, and what Skyway is attempting to help you with is make sure that we make it very easy for you to be able to customize the code generation so that you can tell the code generator basically I'm expecting to deploy this application to JBoss, WebSphere, OC4J or WebLogic and the application will be configured slightly different uh, based on some of the subtleties or some of the minor differences that exist with uh, each of the different application servers. Thank you.